morning YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So it is 6.22 a.m. So it's quite early yet. And I'm doing an update on my Solar X Power uh, X1. Sounds like an experimental fighter. G4 Generation 4, 5 kilowatt inverter. So um, before we go back into the state of charge issue if you recall i'll be having a state of charge issue i'll point out a few things that i've had issues with and then i'll point out some positives so first things first um solar x asked that i do a firmware update they were going to push it through but since i'm 100 percent of the grid when the power goes off the internet goes off and the firmware update went two stages um and I think LCD, those were the two things we were pushing through. So ARM, which is the chip on the inverter, I think that's what ARM stands for, don't, um, I don't know, ARM, I guess. Okay, so there are two updates, ARM, I'm going to assume is the chip, and the second one will be the firmware. Don't take that to the bank, it's me just guessing. So what, it was actually very simple. You cannot really see underneath here because lighting is poor. There is a port. There's a port in there somewhere. And I put a USB into that port. And once I did that, uh, the inverter recognized that I put something in. And then the screen came up. And then the screen changed and asked me if I wanted to do an update. And then I said yes. Then it's asked, it selected, it asked me if I wanted to do an arm. Or the second one which i can't quite remember what it says i said yes and then it saw the firmware and asked me to select that firmware i selected the firmware and boom uh 10 seconds it was done it did it so fast i didn't realize he had done it. then i did the second one that one took a little bit of time it erased what was on the inverter first and then installed the new one so that's the um well, that's the firmware update for you. It, take, it took a little time and it was done. A problem that I've had that refuses to go away is with my residual current device. This one. It's already tripped this morning. I was pumping water and about four or five minutes into pumping water, it tripped. So the inverter is not tripping. It's the residual current device that's tripping. And I'm beginning to think that maybe for Nigeria and our installations, we'll not use an RS, RS, RCD I'll use a current limiter instead. The current limiter will accomplish the same same goals, um, which is protect my equipment, but I'm sure will not trip as frequently as my RCD does. So let me give you an example of um, when it trips. Um, yesterday, I used the microwave, it tripped. The day before that, I used the air fryer, it tripped. Um, I used the hot plate, it tripped. These aren't um, um, inductive devices is that no uh, anyway they're not started they're not pumps that require um, a surge these are just standard inductive I think that's the word okay it's six o'clock in the morning and my brain isn't awake yet I am sure that next time I do the next video I know the difference between a device that I have in rush which is a surge and those like um, heating elements I have no surge. So what I've been using are basically heating elements and they've been tripping that breaker. I am not convinced. So there is no rhyme and rhythm. There is no particular time it does it. It just does it. One of the things I found out is, first of all, there's a hum. But one of the things I found out is that if I leave um, this open and the fan on, it doesn't trip as frequently. It might be a coincidence. It's just me uh, trying to find reasons why that's happening so that i'm sure will take care of um i'll replace that today or tomorrow with a new device and that should solve this problem for me because this has prevented me from doing so many things like before we could cook uh pump now we don't even we're afraid to take that risk it will trip and then you have to come back down uh push these two buttons let me show you push these two buttons to reset them and then turn it back on again so we just can't keep going through that. So back to my battery state of charge issue. So part of what SolarX had said was do the firmware update, that will resolve it. 
So the firmware update was done two days ago. My state of charge did not change. Um, that 94% every morning thing stayed up until yesterday morning. So I was convinced that I had to open the battery, um, turn the BMS off, turn it back on again, and hope that it will find the actual state of charge. But that did not have to happen. Yesterday, um, let me go back. So I've been having this issue where the battery does not fully discharge, at least on the display. It doesn't show that the battery is fully discharged. Uh, we wake up every morning to 94%, even I run the AC, I run the fridge. Dog, guess what? I got a new freezer. That's the old one, and this is the new one. So I run all these devices, and yet, I wake up in the morning to 94%, and the battery never goes below 94%. So I figured something was seriously wrong. Uh, so like X, as that I pushed through a firmware update, which we did, but nothing really changed immediately. So hopefully that's history to allow you to understand what's been going on with my batteries. So yesterday evening, I noticed the battery was discharging. First of all, it gets to the point where the battery just stops accepting charge. It's full, it gets to 100%, and then from that point on, it would stay at what I consider to be float and then start to discharge. So the battery started to discharge, which it always does. I got into the 90 percentile, I was fine. And then it got into the 80 percentile and I was like, whoa, something is going on here. And this morning, let me show you the lights so you have an idea what I'm talking about. You remember when you watch all these lights, would all these will light up. All the way to here, showing you, but now it's only two. So for me, that's very positive. I'm excited to see that. So let me show you my state of charge on my screen. My state of charge is 37%. Well, if I should worry. What am I pulling? That's pulling 800, uh, 800 watts this morning. So I guess my AC in my room kicked in when the lights went out because I told the lights just stripped. Okay, here we go. System status. PV, of course, should be zero because there's nothing right now. It's 50, 50 volts, which is nothing. It will not excite my system yet. Um, here's my battery. So, battery, we are pulling 2.8 amps. Battery voltage is 229. And we're pulling 645 watts out of the batteries. So that's what it says we're doing right now. So um, battery percentage is 37%. And for me, that's beautiful. The battery is finally discharging. It's, it took a while, but I'm excited to see this. Can you imagine someone being happy about their battery discharging? Yes, I am. So the changes we're going to make to the solar axis, the residual current device, will not keep you, we will replace it with um, a current limiter. And then I need to find a way to get a, a breaker to turn the off grid, uh, to turn off the power from the inverter to the house. So I need to figure out a way to get a current limiter, they're usually too poor, um, which will be, which will fit into this space here. This is two pole space. Then I need to find something that will be separate that can turn this off. Okay, so I'm pretty, so far so good. He has not, no hiccups outside of that um, little device there. It's performed the way it's supposed to perform. The batteries are finally doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, the reason I tried pumping water this morning was to try and discharge the battery some more. Um, I might give it a pass. I mean, so far so good. Um, I have no complaints outside of that. Um, we'll keep pushing it. Once we put the current limiter, we'll push to see how much we can push through the inverter. And that's it for now. Um, if you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I should have said that at the beginning. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. By the way, Nigeria, um, in the last 28 days, Nigeria was number one. Number two was the USA. Number three, South Africa. Number four, the Philippines. So my friends in the Philippines, Keep doing what you do. Thank you very much for watching. Dr. Sola.
coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.